Hello, I'm the art teacher. And today I'm going to be teaching you about an uh, artist that I really like. Is His name is Wayne Thiebaud. Here's his name. Wayne, T-H-I-E-B-A-U-D, Thiebaud. I know it doesn't uh, look, that's the way you pronounce it, but it is. And he's a very humble man. I really am, am, am impressed by uh, his expertise in painting, his different styles, and his um, just being a, just an overall nice guy. I saw an interview with him and it, just, it really impressed me. Anyway, we're going to be doing um, cupcakes in his style. His style is, with he was very famous for making cakes and pies. And here you have uh, just a small detail uh, of a bigger picture of some of his cakes. And you can see that it's, you can, it looks like you can just pick some of that icing up. The paint is so thick. Um, so he's got a lot of texture with this. Lots of color. There's shapes and there's textures. If you're looking at the... Uh, elements of art that we have. Um, he's using, uh, certainly that you might see some lines, but he's got shapes and colors, not so much value. He has uh, the appearance of form, uh, certainly texture. So um, not so much with space. So I'm gonna go with uh, shape, color, and a texture. And I'm thinking that he's using those to create a type of a balance. There's also a unity Everything seems to fit together like it all belongs. But I'm going to go with balance, where if you're looking at this uh, cake here, there's a certain balance to it that, um, that really kind of holds it all together. It's not symmetrical, perfectly symmetrical, um, but yet there's still that balance into that cake. And in the whole picture, you can also see, uh, if you were able to see the whole picture, you would see something of that nature. So we're going to go with balance of what we're looking for with a, a cupcake. And so let me proceed here. The first thing you do is you get a piece of paper here. And to uh, make a cupcake, get one of my favorite pencils here. To make a cupcake, uh, I'm just gonna start with this. I need the cupcake to be in the, the most important part, which also, if you wanted to go with the, this instead of balance, you could say uh, emphasis, something that's the most important part. So. The cupcake is going to be about this big. Uh, I'm going to find the center and I'm going to come down about halfway from the center, which is right about here, and I'm going to make a smile on my paper, a small smile, real a light smile, not a big one, almost a smirk, but you see how this looks, but if I put my fingers here to here to here, it's almost a third of the width of the paper. Um, and it's about halfway, so about, I would say three quarters way down or one quarter up, however you wanna put it. And it doesn't have to be exact, but you're gonna have a little curve here. Then you're gonna bring a, a, a diagonal line that comes up till about the middle of the paper on both sides. Try and make it even. And that's gonna be the basis of your cupcake. You zoom in a little closer so you can see that. Almost like a box, except the sides are tilting out a little bit and it's curved here just a little bit. I could actually make that more curve if I wanted to. Now, for my cupcake, since Wayne Thiebaud has, uh, with a lot of his cakes and pies, it looks like you can just, just lick the icing off of them. Um, I'm gonna try and make this as luscious and as tasty as possible. And there's lots of different ways of doing this. The, trust me, there's so many ways. So you can actually make the cupcake wrapper where it is a zigzag, um, bumpy, scalloped, uh, all sorts of things. So let's go with this. How about if I do um, just, a lot of, just a lot of icing? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna come over here. A lot of icing just covering this thing. A lot of icing. A little flowing motion there. And maybe uh, a little bit more going the same style. 
And if you crisscross over something, that's fine. Okay, so that, here, that's what I've got going here. A lot of icing going on, the cupcake. Uh, I can put those little lines that you might see in a cupcake wrapper, that, that paper that cupcakes come in. You'll notice that the first line is straight down, but then as I go off to the left and to right, these lines are going to be a little bit more diagonal. There we go. And then I want, uh, now you have the cupcake, then you have the topping. The toppings, um, not toppings, the icing, excuse me. The icing is, can be so di many different ways. And I'm going to show you some in just a minute. Then you have toppings, things that you would like to put on your cupcake. Uh, it can be anywhere between cherries, jelly beans, sprinkles, little uh, hearts, red hearts, um, uh, any of the syrup, um, any of that kind of thing. Hot chocolate or cold chocolate, all, any of those things. Think. Uh, uh, oh, those fruit candies, you could put those in there. Uh, then you can also put decorations such as, let me, let me put a fruit in here, by the way. Uh, let me zoom in. I'm going to put a cherry. I like cherries. So I'm going to put a cherry right at the top. Come back in this way. Come down a little bit. And it comes back out around this way. And here I'm going to put a little stem. And those stems have a little bit of a knot right there. Now, um, I've got a line here. I'm going to take my trusty eraser here and erase it. If you draw softly, you'll be able to erase really well. You may need to practice drawing softly to be able to do that. Now, uh, I'm going to be using oil pastels to color this in. So uh, if I do sprinkles, I'm going to wait until I'm done coloring the icing and then put uh, the sprinkles in it. Unless your sprinkles are going to be really big. Now, I need to separate this. I need the wall here and the table here. So to do that, I'm just going to do a straight line across. You can either eyeball it and just do it by hand, or you can get a ruler, put the ruler there, and decide how much wall space, how much table space you need. And uh, I think I'm going to go right over about there. And then just draw a little line there. So I'm looking for balance and not not identical, not not um, symmetrical, as long but something that looks like it's balanced. And it looks like this is fairly balanced, where one side has the same weight as the other side. So now this is my cupcake. Now the next thing, next step, excuse me, is to get my oil pastels. These are portfolio oil pastels. They're really really soft almost like paint, paint on a stick. And now you have to decide what flavor of icing do you really want. Now there's something else I've been telling my, my kids. Um, and that is, if you do, we're gonna do warm and cool colors. So if you're gonna do a warm color um, cupcake, your background, I would like to have cool colors. For instance, if this is like reds, orange, and yellows, then the background should be like blues, greens, and purples. Now, you don't have to use them all, but those are the range. Now, if you reverse it, and if you want to have a cool color um, um, cupcake, then it should be a warm color background. So let's try with a cool color. Uh, I'm going to try with this really light blue. I'm going to zoom in closer so you can see how I'm coloring this in. I'm going to start up here. And you just start really putting it on thick. And I'm not coloring this with like I would do with crayons. I'm really just applying a little bit at a time because I'm treating this as paint on a stick. There we go. And I, I'm not going to be able to finish this uh, on this YouTube or this video here. I put it on YouTube. See how long that goes. But if I show it to someone else, you may not, you may be seeing this without being YouTube. But in any way, notice how I'm just like really taking my time, really putting it on thick. And if you happen to see some crumbs on it, leave the crumbs. Matter of fact, you can use the back of your fingernail to push that back in there. Now you can see how long this would take me if I continue to do the whole picture. 
uh, I think I would just run out of time. And it'd be kind of boring watching me do the whole thing. And I don't know how to speed this up yet. I'm kind of technological challenged here. But anyway, you can see how that works. And that cherry, once I get red, I can really just make that cherry really stand out. Now, what I'm also going to do with this cherry uh, is add a little bit of white for a reflection. Get a little white, and I can just put a little bit of white right there. I don't know if I can get it on there. There we go. Um, I got a little bit too much, I think. I'm going to see if I can't get some red right there. We'll see how that looks. If you have any crumbs, you can flick them off if you don't like them or rub them in. So I have my little cherry going on there. Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to be able to finish this, this one, but I have some others I'm going to show you so you kind of get an idea. Let's put this to the side. Here's one I did. I got a straw coming in here and I got one of those candy fruits. And this is sitting on a napkin. Haven't finished drawing the uh, cupcake wrapper yet. And here's another one. Again, got a cherry at the top, started some sprinkles. And this one <clears throat> I did on construction paper. Again, another cherry. Like I said, I like cherries. But I haven't finished the, uh, um, all I needed to do is put a line right here. Now I have the wall, table. Another one. And here's another one. So you can see all the different ones. Now I actually have some that I have finished. So let me show you the ones I finished. There's this one. Now this one I have actually sprayed with a laminate um, lacquer, excuse me, to protect it. But uh, I think you can see how thick I actually got that, that white on there. Try to get a Wayne Tebow's um, effect so uh, it looks there's a lot of texture to this one but again balance uh, there's a certain balance to this picture and uh, notice how this is all warm and the surroundings are cool and the other picture I have here again the cupcake is warm and the background is cool now just to show a little uh, interesting thing here, the background of this purple, and it may not look purple, but it's purple, uh, it took me a long time, and I was doing it just like I was showing you before, uh, trying to get the, a certain texture to it. So I wasn't coloring it with crayons, uh, like I would do a crayon. And the blue here, I did all the blue, left to right, left to right, left to right, the light blue. The dark blue, I did little horizontal and little vertical lines and it took my time and it gave that a certain texture and if you could see that close up you might be able to see something of that nature in there then the uh, cupcake or uh, wrapper in uh, I know there's a kind of a bright green but then there's dark green so it's kind of like in between warm and cool but I just did straight vertical lines and they started slanting out a little bit so I did these uh, up and down lines for the wrapper and of course the icing I did really thick uh, you could even touch some of the uh, the roughness there. You could actually feel the bumps. I also lacquered this so it would, wouldn't rub off and affect anything else. So anyway, that's what I'm teaching my third graders, Wayne Tebow's Cupcakes, and um, give it a try. Now you don't need oil pastels to do this. You could use color pencils, coloring sticks, watercolor, just about anything. Um, you wouldn't get necessarily the texture, but there you have it. Okay. There you have it for this time, and I hope to see you around on the next art lesson.